How am I going to lift anterior from an anterior position? Unless I put sticky tape on my fingers. And you will slide <laughs> off of people's heads, okay? I'm sweating a little bit, you'll slide off my head, you're going to slide off your own heads while you're doing this. And what is to be achieved here? I can't give you physical backup why this, why this works, and I don't want to tell you, like, uh, you know, Sermon on the Mount, this works for this reason. This, to me, is an energetic technique. You have been exposed to this in things that are not osteopathic. I'm going to put my hands on the anterior surface. I am going to do a little physical thing. The only little physical thing I can do to lift this anteriorly from this coronal suture is a little bit of skin tension and a little bit of up. How much up am I going to do? I'm going to do it just short of the point where my fingers fall off the anterior surface while going anterior on a greasy head. Not that you're a greasy head. Everybody's got oils in their skin. And it's, if, if you're doing this and you're starting to slide off, it's, you're just doing it too hard. That's going to be the answer. I started doing this technique, I don't know how I fell into it again. I fell into things that I was taught that I disregarded when other things didn't work. Somehow I fell into doing this. I get more, re I get more patient comments, if that's what you're interested in, from this technique than I do the other one. I get more patient comments as far as floating, sensations and whatnot. I do this and I go to somewhere else in the body, people still feel their hands on their body. That's a common report from me. After I walk away, I still feel your hands here, they still feel that. I don't use that as backup. I prefer that over my neck really hurt after me and you suck. That's much worse comment. Um, I prefer the I still feel your hands on my body and your magical comment. But there is something that happens when I connect with her. So I'm going to come just around. This is frontal bone here. This is starting to go into sphenoid, uh, greater wing of the sphenoid. So I'm very safe here for three fingers. You may use four fingers. But I got sausages for fingers so about three is all I can do. And sometimes on babies I'll do two. I'm going to bring my fingers medial. My hands are touching each other because they're more stable. I'm, I'm going to lose stability here. My hands are going to start to shake and my back's going to start to hurt. So I'm going to lean my elbows on my stomach and I'm going to bring my fingers together to an end point that I decide. And that end point has to be before my hands start sliding because they will slide on everyone if you do it hard enough. Now I'm lifting up to the ceiling. The frontal bone and the temporal bone are two bones that are, generally speaking, very easy to move. There's nothing wedging the frontal bone in. Um, the parietal bone is wedged against itself to some degree. The sphenoid bone is wedged, everything's wedged against the sphenoid bone. That's how we're going to treat it almost last. I can do left, right, left, right, or I can just lift up together. I don't have a conscious thought of left, right. What led me into left, right and doing things, jogging things from side to side, which is not how it was shown, was, well, gee, this feels easy, so why am I doing this together? This is easy, let me just keep that there. Let me go here, let me go here. How does that feel? It feels great. I felt wonderful. <laughs> Let's talk after class. Okay, <laughs> so um, let me have someone else that you can see. Um, come. Oh. It's a volunteer for speaking like that, okay? <laughs> So I'm going to, I'm going to put my hands right on my stomach because this, this is one of the hardest techniques for me to do. Um, I used to do things that were very gymnastical, uh, muscle energy things that required me lifting legs and lifting backs. You just can't go through a day like that. It's too uncomfortable. So my hands are just resting on my body, not resting on her. I'm going to come medial to some stop point and now I'm going to start to lift. just using two fingers of each hand now and I'm getting a lot of float one finger each hand Now 
how's that? So that's, it's really the sensation is multiple, a lot of movement. <laughs> yeah, and there's, there's yeah, it doesn't just feel like lifting up or not. You do more with little in a lot of cases, and there are times where you know you you use force for things, but I found that sometimes I'm coming up against something. Um, the question I don't know uh, somebody somebody asked me about uh, getting stuck here at the OA, and it's really you can't get. I think you asked me getting mm -hmm. stuck here. What do I do with this? I don't. I don't fight with myself to a point. I go. I want to get this release. I want to get this release. It's just not happening. And then I stop fighting. That's when I've been more successful. I just stop fighting. I cannot drag her somewhere that she's not ready to go. So then, if I really can't get it, I walk away. And then I go down the sacrum. I go down to the feet. But I'll come back to it. And I may not get it today. It's not always going to be my agenda. Um, somebody said to me, and I, I wish I remembered who said it to me. You can't lead a horse to water but you can make them thirsty. And that's what you're going to do. You, you try and take her as close as you can. So it is this. And I started with three fingers. I ended up with two. I ended up with one. I still thought I was getting enough sensation. So there's the contact. There's the medial aspect. And there's the lift. And then there's the stopping. Four different points. But this is a communication her and I are having on, an, on a non-conscious level. But it absolutely is a communication. You can... When you feel this feeling, you say, gosh, I'm going to stay here for 15 minutes. This is going to be great. Just keep in mind, you have other patients waiting. So if you get that list started and then you slowly transition out, my hope, my experience is, is that often, not always, but the body um, will then continue and pick up the slack. And for me, it's always often and, it's, it's, it's often and not always. I don't always fix anything. I don't know any rules like that. Okay, so let's try this. And uh, we're going to start by doing one compression, another compression, and I want you to give your partner feedback.